On this week's boiler tip, we want to take a closer look at pump work and amp draw. Um, when we look at the amp draw on a pump, uh, you might think that we would have higher amp draw as we build higher outlet pressures. But if you look at a pump curve, at a higher outlet pressure, we're actually moving less water. And I'm going to demonstrate that. Um, we'll actually have a lower amp draw with less throughput on the pump and a higher amp draw with more throughput, really independent of the outlet pressure. So I'm going to start off by opening the feed water bypass on the boiler and we'll watch the amp draw respond. We've got a steady state on the boiler right now and we can see our amp reading. If I open the bypass on the boiler feed water, we're going to increase the volume of water going through the pump. So even though the outlet pressure on the pump will drop because we've got less back pressure, we'll see an increase in the amp draw because we're actually moving more water. If we see an amp drop as we're taking on more water to the boiler, it can actually indicate that the pump's entering a cavitation state. And that's because if we don't have sufficient back pressure on the pump, it can result in too much throughput, insufficient positive suction head, and a drop in amp draw as a result. So now I'm, I've overfilled the boiler, so it has very little demand. I'm actually going to cut off the recirculation orifice on the pump so that it's literally moving no water. Now, I wouldn't do this commonly, but for our testing purposes, we can demonstrate that with zero flow through the pump, we're pulling even less. So the benefit of checking or monitoring the amp draw in our pump is that we can see a relative amp draw depending on the load. We'll see what our minimum amp draw is under normal conditions. And if we see the amp draw fall below that or become erratic below that, that would indicate that we're cavitating or we've got an issue with circulation through the pump.